Over the past few years, I feel like I haven't been honest with myself. My goal in starting this YouTube channel was to speak to my younger self and go through all the experiences that I've done, what's worked well for me and what hasn't worked well for me. And what I found myself doing a lot during this process was going over different topics or talking about different things that I never actually did in the process. I would say or recommend different things that I read online or I heard from other people that I never actually did myself and what I wanted to do was speak from experience and actually say what I was doing and what I thought worked well for myself and what didn't work well for myself so I could speak to my younger self. And then when I actually think about speaking to my younger self, it's a little tough because the types of videos that I create, younger me probably wouldn't have actually watched them or been searching these topics where I probably would have been searching other things like pranks or gym videos and not necessarily these personal development types of videos because I never really got into that until maybe five years ago where my first five to ten years after I graduated high school I never really knew about the personal development industry. This also brings up the conversation of how I actually speak to myself versus how I speak to other people and what I say in videos because a lot of the times what I say to myself isn't the same thing that I'm saying to other people or what I'm actually saying in videos because sometimes I might say, hey, it's all right to go take a break. Hey, it's all right to take a rest day. Hey, it's okay if you didn't actually go to the gym today where when I speak to myself, that is the farthest thing from what I actually do because I can't remember the last time I missed a day at the gym or I missed a run or I missed 45 minutes of cardio and I've been going for fairly consistently now the last three months twice a day and I would never have that thought in my mind where it's all right if I take a rest day today. So one thing that I'm trying to do and be better at is actually expressing how I speak to myself versus how I'm actually speaking to other people because at the same time, it's more so just telling other people what they want to hear as opposed to what I think they need to hear or how I actually speak to myself. And at the same time, it's somewhat doing a disservice to them because when I say, hey, it's all right that you didn't put in that extra work today. Hey, it's all right that you didn't show up today. It brings them down a little bit because if you're not showing up consistently or you're not going to the gym, you're not putting in that work, whatever it might be, whatever, whether it's on a business, whether it's on your YouTube channel, whether it's your personal content, and I say, hey, it's all right that you didn't actually show up today, that's doing a disservice to you or them or someone else because that's being all right with say average and for myself personally, I'm not really trying to live average, I'm trying to live above average and do things that not normal people do <laughs> And that's what I've been hearing a lot lately with other people where they say, hey, that's all right if you don't think what I do is healthy because I'm not you, I'm me and what I do isn't what you do. So basically what I wanna do moving forward is actually talk from experience, talk from how I actually speak to myself and what I think people need to hear as opposed to saying stuff what they want to hear because I do think that there is a big difference there. And I think if I am actually saying what I think they need to hear or what people need to hear, I think that's gonna have a bigger impact on their lives or your life or even myself because when I'm saying that to other people, I think that's only gonna help myself out in the same process. And sure, I might say some stupid or wrong things along the way, but that's where growth happens. And at the same time, I'm able to look back and just see how much growth and how much progress I've had with my mindset and what I've said along the way and just seeing how much growth I've had over the years. So looking back right now, I can look back at my old videos and look at stuff that I've said and that's a lot of the stuff that I've never actually done or actually tried out and I'm recommending other people to do it or try it out when I've never actually tried it and I've only heard it or read it from someone else. And I've really been wanting to get back into YouTube and creating content. And I ended up having a conversation with Kenya. And it was a really good conversation because I started watching some of his videos. And I liked how simple he made it because before when I first started out, I took videography fairly seriously. And I wanted to make really good high produced quality content with a lot of B-roll telling a story in it. And what I realized when I even look back right now, it's like the quality of the videos that I was creating wasn't even at the point that I wanted to be at. And I had this hitch on myself where I wouldn't be able to create these videos because I wasn't creating it to the highest of quality that I wanted to get to. So I have this excuse in my mind that I'm not able to create content because I wanted to be way up here and I never even actually got up there. So basically, as you can see from right now, I'm just gonna have as simple of a setup as possible, maybe minimal editing. I might throw in some different B-roll clips here and there, 
but basically I want to be able to get it out as easy as possible, film as easy as possible and not struggle and not have that as a hurdle. So I'm doing my best to make this as simple and as streamlined as possible. So there's absolutely no excuses in the way from me creating content. And basically what I want to start doing now is speaking from experience, speaking from what I've actually done, speaking from what I'm actually doing and trying to document a lot of the stuff that I am actually currently doing and working towards and my goals that I'm building towards. And hopefully I'll be able to share some good knowledge, share some good experience that can hopefully help you out in your journey in life and progressing your forward or wherever you're trying to get to. So a few things that I'm currently working towards in my life is I'm training for a marathon currently. I actually have that coming up within a week here. I got another one coming up in October. I got I actually just signed up about a week ago for an Ironman, a full Ironman. I've never actually done a triathlon. So I do have that. I'd like to document that process as much as possible and just showcase what I'm putting in, all the effort, all the work and dedication, I guess you could say. And one thing that I'm really actually excited about is actually training for that. And I want to say, go outside for a bike ride or start swimming because I really do need to start training on that. But since I got my marathon coming up so close, I'm not trying to add in anything new before my marathon comes up because I am trying to do fairly well during that marathon. So I don't want to hinder myself doing all these other things coming up leading up to the marathon so I got to be a little bit patient to wait till after my marathon and then maybe I'll start sprinkling in some more bike rides some more swims but uh, still sticking with my marathon training because I do have another marathon coming up soon I do work out daily but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be filming that just because I feel like it's a little bit weird bringing a camera in the gym and just recording myself or doing whatever that is, but I don't think I will actually do that. I do work out consistently, but I do focus a lot of my effort on my diet. I weigh all my food, count my macros. So I might have some different videos around that topic along with intermittent fasting, trying out different diets and doing some of those different stuff. I think there's still some challenges in there that I could test out and that would be more so physical, mental type of challenges. So I might continue down that path and try and test out my body, both physically and mentally. So all this to say, I'm trying to be more authentic, actually speak from experience, not from what I'm reading, not from what I'm hearing, not from what other people are saying. I'm going to try and speak from what I actually do myself and how I actually speak to myself and try and deliver stuff that is actually going to help other people as opposed to saying stuff that other people might just want to hear. So what I think other people might need to hear. And I think there's going to be a lot of growth opportunities in there for myself because what I say might be wrong, might not be good. And I can look back at it later and be like, wow, I was kind of an idiot. And I hope that does happen because that just shows all the growth that does happen for myself. And hopefully it's able to sprinkle on you and you're able to, hey, Tyler, you're an idiot. Why are you saying that? So I would appreciate any feedback that you guys do have. And I'm going to try and be a little more authentic, a little more real and speak from experience. So thanks for tuning in. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Whatever it might be, it might be something around the Ironman marathon training, maybe a diet. I'm not really sure what the next video is going to be, but I do appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.